different response as a black woman than you do as a white woman or even a black woman with your black child with all the black men around. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Versus a white woman you, white with a woman white child. Without, yeah. Without her man around. Hmm. What's the response? What's the difference? People give the assumption to her. Oh, her man parked in the car. Or, or just, you know, are you treated different? I don't know if it's treated differently. Because that was the vibe I got yes. from what you were saying. Oh, yes. okay. Yes, I, it, was, it was probably a combination of both. Like, actually look to? Like, just just the looking or the actual people actually? Treated, so, 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 hypothetically speaking, you and uh, you're driving, and a black man is driving, and uh Black woman is driving. They're trying to go past one another in a small space, right? And neither one is yielding to the, the other. Mm -hmm. The black man's response to the black woman will be like, "The hell's wrong with you? You wanna drive that car?" Da, 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 da. If it was a white woman and she rolled down her window, it was like, "Do I have enough room?" The black man may be like, "Oh, so it's okay, man. Let you know. Let me, let me." Let me. Oh, that that. That does, treatment does that is happen? different, does regardless of whether her man there or not. And right. both, both that's are. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. White women get preferential treatment. Yeah, even goes back to yes, well, that's, that's because, a privilege. That's because y'all are scared of them. Like white and women, that, that's a white factor women's too. Tears are real. That's a factor too, because you know historically we go to jail if they're mm. uncomfortable a little bit. Yeah, it's mm. our fault. Not jail, die or well, die. True. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys think you guys are overly sensitive yes. to I think I am. things being <laughs> I'm not going I mean not I'm not going front. Yay, but. but like because stuff is so flamboyant now, maybe there's things that you would have like done in your day or whatever, but now because it's a sign of it could be a sign of something else. What you're you kind of like like tie dye. Certain uh I'll say this. I, I think that there is something to what you're saying, but I've always been like this ever since I was a <laughs> child because of uh, my older brothers and cousins and whatnot. Mm. What about like they 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 hit me with the oh man you a, you a faggot right early early you know so other people's right and I think it was to make sure that I didn't. Right. Go down that That's road. That's how we were raised. Even though I probably wouldn't have anyway. You know what I'm saying? But they was just, well, you know what? I take that back. I got a cousin that's in the community. Mm -hmm. And I used to play with him. He's older than me. Oh, so and so I think that's why sure. they did that. They, they probably was like trying to Let's look out for out now. I just took it as them, you know, clowning. Like, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even think about my cousin being in the community. Until you got older, probably. No, nah, yeah. you know, because back then you could still deter. Well, I don't know how old you were. No, nah, I, I just didn't think about it at that age. I was probably about seven, six, I, seven. I, I, Look. And I just was playing with my older cousin. You know what I'm saying? No, I think he got me about like three years, two years, three years, two years. Nah, dog. We knew at that age. We knew. But what yeah. I'm saying is, it never came up in me playing with him. Cousin, it was right. just like, oh, my cousin's here. Right. He got toys. I got toys. Let's play toys. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. But it would be instances where my older cousin would be, be watching us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And me and my cousin that's closer to me, that's in the community, we'd be playing with our toys, right? Mm -hmm. and my other cousin would be somewhere else, maybe with my brother, other cousins. 
And I'd maybe go to the restroom and they'd be like, man, what y'all doing up there? You know, we upstairs playing. Bye, bye, bye. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, they kind of just woke me up to it. Like, all right, make sure that's all y'all doing. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, like, you're stupid. make sure y'all ain't, you know, we just trying to make sure y'all ain't no sweet boys. You know what I'm saying? And it was, I think they, obviously they knew he was. Because there was some teasing involved too. And I just was so, like, mm, mm. don't apply to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But from then on, it was like, you know, that was like a thing. Like, ah, oh, man, you a, you a little man. You a little... You sweet. We was good, we, but that's how that's how. But that's things, how we was raised. That's how we was back then. It was yeah. normal. So what I'm saying is, I've always been like extra cautious to community engagements <laughs> or what could be perceived as. That's just because that's how he was raised. Yeah, I'm not saying it's so, a good thing. I'm so just, I was not raised that way, but I was raised that way. I was raised in an environment where that was an issue. Like, you got to be careful because Bamas don't. Even, I mean, realistically oh, speaking, we grew up in the that. no homo era. Yes. So, like, everything. Before it wasn't no homo. Yeah. So, everything was always on your mind. Or to, to the forefront. Of it. Or if it wasn't on your mind, it was forced. Because you didn't want to be put in a situation where it was like, oh, you ain't say no homo. Man, I would say once I got to about fourth, fifth grade, it was... There was a clear line of this is unacceptable behavior and this is acceptable behavior. Now, whether that unacceptable behavior was really unacceptable, some of it was probably too much, but I wasn't going over the line. Yeah, but I think, so here's the <laughs> thing about that. I get it. There are certain behaviors that could be peculiar or whatever, mm-hmm. and people, it could be perceived wrong. I get that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, right. Uh, act. There's only one thing that defines homosexuality. Uh, you know what I'm there's saying? There's only one thing that can be proven to define. There are other things. What you else? Can't speak for them internally. That's that's our perspective. Yeah. You don't. They're, they're not gay until you do, but no one does before thinking it. Exactly. They, there's probably people out here that haven't engaged in anything. Niggas don't be stumbling that say into I'm, gayness. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, I'm here. This is the world of gay. I never said stumble. <laughs> no. Yeah, nah, you know. There's a, so there's only one way to prove it. That's what you. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, fine. Or to make that determining factor, like that. Nah. You know. Yes, because you can't say oh tight jeans or wearing pink or whatever. Not it nowadays. Makes you that. Not nowadays. You can't say that. Man, listen. Yes, but no, because you can, if your mindset, if your mind is messed up, you know what I'm saying? You are pretty much what you conceive, like what you believe. What you think. Yeah. And people so think, if, if your mind is believing a certain way, you pretty much. And people project that also. So the things that people, people's fears, they also project on other people or their thoughts, they project on other people. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if I wear a pink shirt, I, I think. I just think it looks good on my skin. There's nothing wrong with wearing a pink shirt. But somebody else is like, oh, that's I wouldn't extra. wear a pink shirt unless I was. Or, See, they being extra. That's just too much, though. That's, that is pro- too much. That's projection. Exactly. That's what In I most cases. That is the root of it in most cases. Okay. Usually it's somebody, and that's why I was trying to say a while ago, I was like, you know what? I get the whole idea of homophobia. Yeah. Because it's all mm-hmm. rooted in... Your fear of mm-hmm. oh, oh. that's what a phobia is. It's fear. Yeah, but people look at it as man, I'm scared of you or something like that, and so they like, no, I'm not homophobic because I ain't scared of you. I'm just uncomfortable. But what's happening is it's not about you being scared of that person. It's about you being afraid of what that person represents for your life and what it, what what impact it could have on your life, for even me, though it may not have none. For me, I'm just uncomfortable and. For a lot of people who are uncomfortable, that sometimes that puts people in a fight or flight response. Yes. Yep. So the thing is, there's a consequences to fighting, being on that side of the fence. Yep. Whereas 
fleeing or flighting or whatever the, the saying is. Yeah. Like, but a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people fight. So now that you're fighting, you're a homo. You're, you're homophobe. And now you hating too. That's a lot. That's a hate crime too. <clears throat> um, yeah, but I think a more extreme version of that is when the hate is equivalent to questioning, like when you just have a question about it or a general. Yeah, you that's, know, a, that's, that's a that's a that's a that's 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 labeling somebody wrong. The only question. What? What do you mean? Like if you just if if me questioning what you believe in is is a, is that's a hate? phobia or that's hate. That's considered hate. That's a problem. That's wrong. That's not right. You it, don't think that's right? Nah, that shouldn't be considered hate. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm it saying? That's be. just me questioning what's going like, on. how did you get here? Right. Yeah. I, like, I what's agree. happening here? What's going on? Me so trying to understand. you never seen a vagina, is what you're saying. Not yeah, once? that would be considered hate. And you turned it down? By some. You By didn't. some, that could be but considered. But that person is probably projecting, too. That person is probably saying, oh, you a hater out of fear. Yeah. Who? The person who's asking those questions? The person who's, the asking. Who's getting, yeah, who's getting asked the question. Not the ask her. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> so that's what it all, a lot of it is behind, based on it is so, fear. All the reactions. So are the, the tweet that Lil Nas X put out, mm-hmm. which was, you know, I'm starting to miss pussy. Wait a minute, hold on. That's basically what he said. Well, let's get let's get to because that's always my thing <laughs> about being gay. He said, and I quote: "This gay ish was fun at first. I miss pussy now. Sad face." And that was my whole. That's my and y'all whole take thing. that as verbatim. Like he probably got an album out or a single about to drop or some shoes or something. He just trying to garner attention. That's all that's but he about. Could have been trying to do the same thing with the gay thing. <laughs> yes, he was. I believe so. When you milk a cow too much, you need to you need to go somewhere else with it. Exactly. Now you got so to try to milk a horse. Do- you need to hit a- <laughs> that's what he trying you to do. want to milk a horse. <laughs> all of this he is just about before. attention. I, I agree. He's I think no. Different than a three-year-old wanting attention. So, so you're saying so when sexual... crying doesn't work, or you know when they're making you laugh doesn't work anymore, they'll start doing tantrums. I mean, it's just one or the other. So All of it's for attention. I agree with that. So you're saying his sexual orientation is still ambiguous. Man, or, I think he or, laughs at that. I think he trolls people because he mm, knows that people are so whatever phobic mm. and so caught up in this person's sexuality, or this ain't right, or this or that. He mm. trolls that whole situation. I honestly think that's what his whole thing is. That's true, or somebody in his, t- on his, in his team is having, having him do it. So. Yeah, like I think he probably sit back and be laughing at folks that be like, mm-hmm. this ain't right, this and that. And I'm not saying that they wrong for saying mm-hmm. that, I'm just saying, that's, I think that's his perspective. That's his I'm whole thing. saying if you don't like him, ignore him. He ain't gonna sell no more records no more. He'll become irrelevant. And you could be happy with your decision. By giving him There are people that like him, baby. No, I'm saying the people who are coming to him with hate. Oh just ignore him. That's the best oh, way to get him to go away. Yeah, no, like stop coming to him with hate. If you mm. if you don't like somebody, ignore him. Yeah, you shouldn't go to nobody with hate. That's true. Yeah. And that's the really the moral of the story. Yeah. And that's what so that's the thing, just man. Just ignore him. I talk to a bunch of people that's in the community and a lot of the ones that I talk to, that be their thing. You know what I'm saying? They don't be just out leave me alone. They don't be out here like, hey, hey, da, da, da. But when you have an in-depth conversation with them about all the stuff that be going on and the, the hate that they get, they just be like, man, why y'all hating? This ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing. Let me do me. And I think somebody will argue that it does have something to do with them. Maybe not directly, but indirectly. How? Yes. Societally. And being the, like, uh, uh, being in other people's business, you mean? Well, just the influence, because, you know, as a parent, you gotta, you gotta also have to worry about the things that you have no control over when your kids are around, or the things that your children are consuming, visually or audio or auto, audibly, whatever. Yeah. Um, I can I, be a, 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 a traditional person, right? And somebody that's more progressive would be like, oh, yeah, this progressive stuff ain't got nothing to do with you. But it actually does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it because it will affect. Because it's going to affect me. Your Even tradition. though I'm traditional, it's going to end up, my traditional thing is going to end up changing because of the progression. Mm. Okay. Yeah, me writing checks is traditional. Man. Me continuing to do that, but everybody else is using Cash App, affects me. Because everybody who 
I deal with now is like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? Or <laughs> can you just cash at me? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it affects you. So you, I mean, yeah, in my opinion. But anyway, more power to him. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what shows are y'all watching? Man? What, what? Oh wait, before we go there, mm -hmm. there's this. I'm gonna send it to you. There is this. You got That's your phone. Right. Yeah. 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 There's a situation I wanted to read to you. Okay. Although you don't have a son, I still want you to kind of chime in to is see. Is this the thing in the chat? Can we discuss this? Can it's we not discuss that? It's not in the okay. chat. I don't let's think go I put to it in that after. Let's go to that after. Okay. okay. Um, did you get it? No. I sent it to you on Instagram. Oh, I thought you were sending it to me to me. Mm -mm. All righty. Mm -hmm. As soon as I find mm -hmm. my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Toto, man. Shout out to Toto. They did their thing, man. Okay. Ready? Sunday. Yep, Sunday. So it's a, a, this is a Wait. woman who's talking to her baby father. Okay. She's obviously married, I'm thinking. To or him. Married to, to someone else. else. Got you. They, have, they share a son. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Go for it. I'm here. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. I'm sending this text. My bad. Okay, hey, our son needs a haircut. I know you usually get him get him every other Tuesday, but this week you didn't get him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get it cut next Tuesday. Okay, did you get your haircut last week? Yes, why? Why you didn't take him with you? Also, he, ha he have, I'm reading it like she wrote right, it. Right. He have school picks this week. He won't. He won't be able to wait until next Tuesday. next Tuesday. I didn't have money for both our haircuts this time. Whoa. I did Facetime him and make sure his hair wasn't wild before I went, or I would have took him instead. Okay, is it okay if my husband takes him with him tomorrow when he goes? No, I will take my son to get his hair cut. I lost my place. No, I will take my son to get his hair cut unless he will take him to who always cuts his hair. But you're saying wait until wait until two Tuesdays from now and he needed it, he need it cut this week for school, for school pictures. pictures. And our son can just get my husband Barbara to cut his hair since he's already going tomorrow. Which all makes sense. He can still go with you in two weeks because he will need it, his haircut again by then. Mm -hmm. I said no unless he's taking him to who always cut his hair. Well, I'm telling him yes because I have I have say so, I have say so too. I was asking you because I, I thought you forgot to take him. I even allowed you to see my point of view. You're just being selfish and inconsiderate of our son. Will you be able to get his hair cut Thursday or Friday for pictures? No, I don't have the money. Who's wrong here? <laughs> uh, you guys have your answer lined up already? I think, I, I, I think. I don't. Yes, I do. Let me, I just, don't. Let me just tell y'all. Okay. okay. That dude is dead wrong. The 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 baby father. The baby father. Okay. Um, I I you don't understand. And listening to that, I was like, okay, find a way to give him a benefit of the doubt. Find a way. Mm -hmm. Dead wrong. However, there was a moment of compromise there that she was not willing. She was not willing to bite on. Where? When she said, "Fine, he can take him." Just take him to the person who always cuts his hair. Mm. Because if it's about the kid, and, and you may not understand this. Mm. Okay, okay. No, but you, I, I don't. It is important that's, that's when you're getting your hair cut to get it, get it cut by the same person all the time. Okay. Because if okay. you go to one barber that does something different, another barber, next time you come back, the next barber will be like, hold on, how do I fix this? She probably took that as an insult too. Like, oh, so you trying to say my husband don't be, his barber ain't nice? 
I, Try to say my husband head be looking crazy. Right. <laughs> so that's why she didn't want to compromise. I don't think that was the case either. <laughs> he also could have said, I think, hey, give me the money for his haircut this week. I'll take him. That's true. I mean, there's so many, there's so many other, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, he's wrong. Ultimately, he, he is wrong. And, and I kept saying, I was thinking to myself, like, how much is it to get a haircut? Oh, that's expensive, man. I mean, like what? Yeah, for a little kid, though. Yeah, like forty bucks. He ain't got that's kind $40? of ex- that's kind of expensive. Forty dollars. That's you a whole. Ga- that's a week's worth of gas. But if you that's forty dollars, you got. I mean, I'm hoping. If like, all he had was money. gas money, that's his gas money. So I mean, I, I don't know. No, so here's the thing. Okay, I hear what you're trying to say with this. You got <laughs> one child. We don't your know if that's only, his only child. Well, in my version of the story, your only job I ask you to do go, is get the it. little boy's hair cut. Get the little boy. Please don't bring my son back to me. And you went to get yours cut? That was kind of foul. If anything, you get your son's hair cut. Before you get yours cut. I don't care if you thought it looked... So, I, so I'm, I slightly disagree with that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, 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 I slightly disagree with that. But did he not know what was going on? About the school pictures? Yeah. He didn't know I don't about know. The it didn't seem like he knew about it ahead of time. If he didn't know about the pictures, then it's fine because mm-hmm. his haircut is more important mm-hmm. than that little boy. I'm gonna keep it real because the consequences point. for me as a grown man without a haircut, yeah, are different than the dog. <laughs> yeah. I'm just keeping it, yeah, who has to keep a job? Who has to do? You know. Okay, but it. let's say in our agreement when we decide, I, guess not, I gotta find a new lady yeah. too now. It's not eating. No, you ain't got to do that. No, we <laughs> say hold on. We this, together this ain't no food. It's not food. It's not like it was food here. And oh well, I ate and I didn't have enough for him to eat so he ain't eat right that's saying. different right you know what i mean i'm not gonna let that happen but like i asked you for one thing and get it use your son's haircut you can't do that you ain't, you ain't asked for one thing <laughs> she asked for something else you don't know so we don't know so i'm, yeah, no, so I'm, I'm making, gonna say i'm this. making up stuff now. so regardless of the situation i'm gonna say it always goes back to the man because if the man knows that that's his job and that's his responsibility monday or sunday he should have called and said, hey, I ain't got the money for TJ this week, this, or Tuesday this week. Okay, so since you don't have the money, yeah, he could, then, it, then, then, you know, whoever's paying for it can decide where he goes. No. No, no, no. Because that defeats no. the purpose of you. That defeats the purpose of you asking. Yes. If you, no, you might as well just, just let him go on, on and then deal with the consequences the, of me being upset. No, you asked you me. Know, to, so if this sounds like she acts so that she could be in the clear of any wrongdoing, but her mind was already made up. Yes. If she actually went into it with a, com- a compromisable because mindset. Because she knew you didn't have no money. Okay, that's Well, she fine. knew you didn't pay for it to get done, that's obviously. Fine. Obviously. All, right. All he said was, look, just he, take him to the barber yes, that normally he came back with a compromise. He I'm did. trying to keep and him she did not and lined up properly. You know, he didn't say that. They didn't line up properly. You come on now. But if a man's handling something, you have to understand that there are man things that you may not understand, and that's true in this particular case because you cannot just go. To, well, I can't say that because Man, maybe that's rough. Because I'm on the on the flip side, right? You got the husband who like I can take him and get his hair cut. You know what's what I'm the, saying? What's the big deal? And that's a rough situation all the way around. If, so if I'm the husband, the husband should understand. Like, hey. So if I'm the husband, where where's Bob at? Hold on, exactly. Because you understand yeah, that, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. if now, I'm if the you, husband, now if you're trying to be like, hey, forget him, yeah. then that's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because if it's really about the kid, yeah. I, if I'm the husband, I'd oh, be where, like, where the barber shop? Where the barber? Where's Bob? I'll, right, take, him I'll, I'll take him over there. Tell him yeah. to take you the address. If it's really about the kid. Okay. Then when there's some extras involved, you know what I mean. <laughs> but the husband shouldn't have no ill will in his heart. None. He shouldn't. He should not. No, I didn't say. I don't think the husband. That was a, that was a very I think, interesting topic, though. I think the husband, you know, pretty much in most situations, they do as they're told. It's not their child. They have a boundary that they can walk. She asked me to do this, yeah. so I'm doing that. Yeah. yeah, but 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 the woman did not agree with it. If she, but if my wife came back to me and said, "No, he wants you to take him to his bob," I would have been like, "Hold on, well, hold on, babe. Why why I can't do that?" Like. If it's about him getting his haircut before such and such, I don't, I don't mind doing that. Man, yeah, that's just me personally. Mm. No, nah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I was just getting opinions from males. <laughs> what was the other little scenario? Yeah, that's the one, I, and I can't even remember what it was, but 
I just remember our um, banter about it. Let me see if I can find it. Was it a long time ago? Probably yeah, last it week. Should be in the chat because I don't see it. Probably last week. All right, here we go. I got it right here, man. You got it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. You can take it over. Oh, this is a female's perspective here. Oh, okay. Shout out to Doja for missing and Kiara for missing this episode. <laughs> <laughs> We miss y'all, man. We just, you know. <laughs> They'll be back next time. Come back soon. I guess I can't say nothing. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this one is, uh, my husband is mourning his dead mistress. Oh, oh Three Lord. months ago, the woman who who was, ha- um, was having an affair with my husband died suddenly from an accident. I found out about the affair only two days after her funeral. I thought she was simply a co-worker and I was wondering why my husband was so disturbed um, and emotional. He quit his job Whoa. saying he was too traumatic. It was too traumatic to go to work. She was in, um, in early weeks of pregnancy when she died. And my husband doesn't know whether he or her husband was the father. Ooh. This just Ooh. getting worse and On worse. On top of everything... He's also grieving for a baby, which may or may not have Have been been his. his. I find it extremely difficult to be emotionally supportive when he wakes me up at 3 a.m. crying and trembling. Yet I don't have the heart to yell at him like I want to. He says she's dead, so there's no reason for me to feel jealous or threatened and asks for my understanding as he grieves. We barely talked these last weeks because I don't know how to respond to my husband when he cries and says he misses her mm. and wishes she were here. Then also, <laughs> <laughs> then also he, he's, he misses, um, then also how much he loves me and that he never intended to leave me. I asked him to visit a marriage therapist together, and he said he's not ready to work on our marriage, and he thinks he needs to see a grief therapist instead. Oh, without her. Do I need to give him time to mourn the loss of his mistress, or should I demand he focus on our marriage? I'll let y'all go first. Thought, thought, thoughts? <laughs> Question mark? He got the right one. Yes, indeed. Whoever he married, he yes, got indeed. the right one. Yes, indeed. That nigga, it, let, let me tell you. I don't know no woman that I would even want to be in a committed relationship with who would allow... <laughs> I could even think, have the idea that this is something that she would support. This is not. He never intended for her to find out, though. Uh, I'm, we're not sure about that. Because based on the story. Depending on the baby. She, she, not, based on the story, she understood that he had a mistress. And who knows what her level of okay with itness. No, because she didn't. She found out three weeks before. Oh, right, right. She only found out. Okay, okay. Because she died. That's the only reason she knew. Three months ago. Three months ago. She died three months ago. Uh huh. That's the only reason she found out. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think he intended. He just wanted to have his wife and his concubine. So let me. But that's not. Well, that's not really his concubine because she was married. She married too. So he just had a little side thing. So let me ask you a question though. But here's where here's my issue. If he was trying to keep it from her, why is he not keeping it from her now? Because she did. So? so he's distraught. Yeah, he's so distraught, he don't even give a damn. Yeah, he just, his, he, <laughs> he's disturbed. She said he's disturbed. His world is crumbling around him right now. Was disturbed and Not emotional. all of it, though, because he wasn't going to leave his wife. He wakes up crying and trembling. He don't. Okay. I'm, I'm, come back to me, because I'm. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't do it. There's like there's no amount of But I'm in pain. Hats off to her. But I'm in pain. Oh, you would be in pain. I'm in pain. I, I'm grieving here. 
hats off to the woman. I don't even know if hats off to her because I feel like maybe <laughs> there's some gotta give self-worth issues or yeah. something that she has. I mean, because yeah, there's, there's no I'm way that you can lay next to someone every night that's oh, crying that's about somebody else. <laughs> I'm, you got to be out your <laughs> cotton picking. Uh, I mean, at oh, that point. <laughs> He can't be shitting me, boy. <laughs> like you always think about scenarios where someone like they say they go like black and they they see red and then they're like you know they snap and they kill somebody and oh, and then they you. and then they wake up and they're like I don't even know what happened I woke up there was a knife in my hand like I just I came to I can see how in this scenario I can see how that happened about Man, about this the about the fifth I was night probably. Say, he don't even it's the audacity he don't even care and that's it's the audacity for that's me. the the to audacity ask, of him to just be like you know what I'm so distraught right now that I don't even care if you know hold on dog this nigga's actually putting the dead woman's feelings before His the wife. alive wife yeah yes. now that I'm thinking about it yes. No, he's putting his feelings before everybody's. Yeah, well, that's well. That's always happens with people in those type of situations. That's that's what that is. But this nigga yeah. is literally putting. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> is she dead? What? What? Did he go to the funeral? What's the husband say? Excuse me, sir. How do you know my wife? Yeah. He quit his job. So and he got work. So now, damn, now he the have sole a job. purpose. Now no, he no, no. So fucking let him the job, John. He can't provide for that same wife that he's asking to grieve with him or understand. She is getting everything taken away from her. Cheerios. He can't even provide now for that same house. And he won't only, be able to because he can't function. Now, oh, not only can I not provide for you anymore, young lady, but I cannot be. <laughs> I need you to now somehow muster up something else to help support me in my mo- financial. Hey man, dog. Hey, he's a sociopath. I ain't never, wa- never want to fight somebody I ain't never met before so much in my life. He's a sociopath for I sure. I can't breathe without you. Is that who is that? Talking about R. Kelly joint? Is that the R. Kelly joint? Um, then he made a, a uh, remix to that joint. Uh, I can't live, babe. That's what yeah, talking. that's the joint. <laughs> That's what he going through right now. At the funeral. Without you for it, for in my life, don't, don't want to go on, baby. <laughs> this, this is my song, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Look at y'all. I don't want to do nothing, nothing if I... <laughs> Look at y'all. No. Do it, baby. But not about his wife. That's him, no. <laughs> but not, not about right. his wife. <laughs> he oh. grieving right now. You can't understand that. No, I can't. <laughs> and I so, cannot. There's so many. Hold on. There's so many different angles to this. So, so this is why I say she is to blame, and I hate to say it that way. Oh. Although he is actually to blame, she has uh, to me. Ultimately, yeah. Probably. She. There's no way he just did this. Or he, she had, no, she has had to ha- enable him there in for a good part of their relationship for so much that he feels like this is a, this is okay. This, yes, even even with all that has happened, the fact that he feels like the you know what he can you should be helping me hold her to right the now fire for Monday. my side piece who probably may have been pregnant with my baby. I don't oh, know if it was oh, mine about or that. her oh, husband. Shit, I'm going crazy. I can't. <laughs> How is this real? I believe it. I don't think soap operas get you this. You know what it is? I think that sometimes, you know, the people take those marriage vows pretty seriously. I mean. And so you get in, in oh, it. Oh. I'm saying for her. Like, she got in it and. Um, she like, I can't get out. There's yeah, no getting out. Yeah, there's no getting out. De- you know, sickness, health, death to us part. I mean, she could do death to us part. I don't see why she can't participate in that. Man, listen. <laughs> That'll you're, solve everything you're real funny. quick. I'm going to tell you something. The uh, I'm still trying to work on. Do you, what, how that joint go? What I think it was Rihanna that was like, if if you if you crying over another woman, we don't go together no more. Yeah, I'm still trying to work past that because I feel the same way. So you're saying if if there was a guy that I you know dated, I said a long I'm time still ago, trying to work past. And he it. died. I know it ain't right. And I was like, but I'm gonna be like sad. Get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go. No, I wouldn't be like that. 
But you would fell away. I'm about to say, John, I'm about to say, John. I go to funerals of people that I don't even know, and I may still get choked up. No, no, it's not about being choked up. Okay. It is about being choked. Yeah, because nah. that's what it is. Because if I didn't cry, you're not with that person no more. So that's over. I know, Correct. but someone died. Man, someone died. Nah, come on, man. Someone died. I said I was trying to work past it. And it wasn't my business. And, I, like and I'm saying that to uh, say that fair. if this type of thing was happening, man, that's you a got thing. to be kidding me. Oh, so, so you're so, saying even right. on this little bit, even you can't that, right. that's what I'm saying. Right. I can't even get past that. Yeah. So this, imagine, no, <laughs> no, for real, no, seriously, I think, yeah, dude, no. I would have so much evil in me just walking around. It would just be there festering. Mm. It'd be a lot of trouble on my mind. Uh, trouble. Trouble mm. on so my I guess, mind. So I guess in one breath, I can admire her for saying, you know, I'm not going to let this floozy or this dead person, uh, you know, come between me and my family. I mean, she was already okay with, right? She had to have been. Nah, she didn't know. Okay, but now that it's over, she's aware of it. But she knows now. But and she, she's if she if she enables him to no, do this, up, I feel like he's using then, this to. I feel like he's using this as a point. So he didn't have to tell her that he was grieving over her. Nope. He could have just. He don't care. He don't care. So Tiff, he could have just been. It could have been anything, Tiff. He could have dealt with this in one way, and five years later told her this was going on. Well, she was going to see it. See what? Him dealing with it. Him grieving. Yeah, right. He could have. He could have. He could have attributed it to lie. anything. He could have just. Like, like, oh, you. He could have said, it's just a rough, I'm just, baby, I'm just having a rough time right now at work. You're crying in the middle of the night. And trembling. <laughs> nigga, nigga, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on you with you? Trying to cripple in the middle of the Okay. Yay. Now you want to be truthful? <laughs> so she can get the truth out of you, but I can't. Don't want to do nothing if you. Woo! Mm. Oh, man. Speaking of R. Kelly. I know, right? I was going to say, R. Kelly is. <laughs> hey, we do need some updates. What's up with Ara? Man. He was found guilty. All charges. Oh, he could he face wasn't... up to 100 years. I mean, he won't, probably won't get that. And this is just one one of set of the federal charges. Like he still has to go to Wisconsin and one other place. Wisconsin? To, yeah. What yeah. happened in Wisconsin? Do we know? Probably some the uh, same, some more the something. same, but it's other women. So yeah. this is just Chicago. That was just New York. New York. That was New York. That was New York. Yes. He we ain't even got to Chicago yet. Chicago. He was found guilty on all the charges. Yep. I don't know what the charges were though. I don't it know was, if I want to go. I mean, I mean, yeah. I heard some stuff about a little boy at one point. Did y'all hear about that? I did. I did hear that. I think that is the, probably, for me, the straw. That was the straw. I couldn't, I'm like, you know what? Wait a minute, what? The 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 boy was the, <laughs> why not yeah. the girls? So, why not kids? Being, why is that? Kids, yeah. Convicted but, of racketeering. Racketeering oh. and sex, sex trafficking. Racketeering, that's the. Uh, you know how they link that all. That's that. That's oh, not necessarily yeah. organized crime, but it is kind of an organized crime if he's, if he's it doing is. it that yeah, way. Yeah. Dang, he done. <laughs> Dog, just know the law. Just like, come on, man. Like, so yeah. understand everything he did. If he did with an, a consenting adult, would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But except that's not the, what he was into. Except the whole kidnapping and thing. Like, sometimes he was accused of, like, kidnapping, like, tying people, taking them. But if know, they consented to it. They didn't in, in a lot of cases. They didn't. But um, he's still trending on Spotify. One of the most popular. He needs help. Is he trending because of music? Like, does Spotify music, have, uh-huh. like, a, a social music. media type Nobody's going to stop Yeah, I mean, you can music. always monitor, you know, what people are listening to. You no, know I'm saying, do they have like a, you know how they try to integrate, you know, like feeds into a music stuff now? Do oh. they have something like that on there to cause him to trend? Or is it oh, just no. music? It's just people actually looking up his music and <clears throat> I'm playing sure it. because the case is going on, somebody said the word R. Kelly, and by the end of a five minute conversation, the song was playing. Like, that's how, that, that's how it be happening, dog. So look, though. I, I, are y'all going to stop listening to his music? Uh, or have y'all stopped? In y'all pub- playing on In public, I will stop listening to it. I'm gonna just keep it real with everybody. In public, 
He ain't got one about it. Yeah. Well, What's the public knows that you do it in private. You now. don't know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I, you do. Uh, I may have, you know, some songs here and there. Here and there, yeah. On my playlist. Just, you know. Man, it's tough. It's tough because, not because of, well, it is because of all of this. I just listen to the words, man. I'm it, like, it's who was he singing? Who was he, who he talking to? Yeah. Who he talking to? Right. Like, that's how I felt about um, Frank Ocean. Mm. After, after that. Yeah, because I was like, damn, who is he? Oh, okay, Who's but, he singing to? Okay, no. And should I be repeating this? Wait a minute, listen to me, though. No, but y'all listen to, like, okay. Y'all listen to like Mary J. Blige, right? Yeah. You know she's singing about a dude. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel so like I'm. Still... But, but I imagine I'm the dude she's singing about, though. She's I'm singing like, to us. I'm like, that's how I want a woman to feel about me. She's singing, yeah. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She's singing to us. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's how it is. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the Frank Ocean songs or two, one or two songs, he specific specifically or explicitly mentions a woman. As the other party that he's talking to, I don't think so. Uh, am I, I, am I, am I tripping? Am I tripping? He was like something to the tune of "I don't believe love is between man and woman. I between I believe it's between." Oh, love I didn't. And love. I've never listened to that. Oh, song. it's a beautiful song. Oh, well, you, it, it, you, it is you. like, and this was before he came out or what have you. I always was like, wait a minute, what does he mean, animals? He, I just didn't even think about, didn't think about nothing he's else. He's talking. Look, I was like, is he talking about some bestiality type of stuff? Right. Because he was like, not between love and love. He was about, wow. Yeah, I just didn't think about it until he came out and I was like, oh, duh. Mm. But it's a beautiful song, like I said. It's just one of them things, man, you know? I guess. Oh, Kelly. The only song I know of his is Nova King. Damn. He's talking about a girl in that song. Is he? He says girl. He says she. He says her. For that moment. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you can Why, be you? happy and sad. I'm not. I'm done with Frank Ocean, dog. It's cool. <laughs> but I must be having a threshold for, with me anyway. As soon as I don't... I was never a real fan. I like that song. Okay, I got another little... Let's do it. You know, scenario we can all close right, out. Let's do it. I need you to read with me. This is another tech situation. I like, first of all, let me just say, I like scenario. the little rope. I like the little. <laughs> I like it. We now actually, I'm feeling like. <gasps> no, that's. I'm, I know it does give right, us something. No, I, that's from Kiki. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shout you know. out to Kiki. Where you at? <laughs> Am I going up? I think. I'm up to bed. Um, hey. No, it's, no, I think. Oh. Hey. I think this is no. Hey, Sasha told me to text. It's just. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you give us context? Do we need um, context? This no. is. I think this has to do with a date. This is a dating scenario. Carry on. Okay. It says, hey, Sasha told me to text. It's Janae. Hey. That was three days ago. <laughs> 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 sorry, been busy. It's all good, Shawty. You busy Friday night? Actually, I'm off on Fridays. Cool. I would love to take you out if I'm not too forward. That sounds nice. Um, that sounds nice. Where are we going? There's a there's this new restaurant downtown called Sweet Peach. I would love to try it. She already knew she wanted to go. And then I, I'm guessing it was like a not a response quickly. And then she was like, you there? Sorry, my bad. I was looking at Sweet Peach. It's a bit expensive, not gonna lie. App start off at $60. I was thinking I'll cook for you. My condo has a nice deck with a view. Honestly, I'm tired of being cooped up in the house. I wanna get out. What's your budget then? I want to go out, sorry. We wouldn't be inside. I have a rooftop view, we would be out. If that doesn't work, there's a Ruby Tuesdays not too far from me. Is that okay? Ruby Tuesdays? No, nah, that wouldn't work. They're on Grubhub, sir. So is Sweet Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? I was replying to your jokes, so yes. I was trying to make you laugh. They're on Grubhub. I look. Does Ruby Tuesdays work? I actually, I'm actually be, I'll actually be busy. I forgot I told my coworker I'd take her shift Friday. I'll be too tired. 
Oh, since you said, oh, since you. I think she the said. Oh, since I, you said no to Ruby Tuesdays, I called Sweet Peach and made reservations, though. I'll cancel. Sorry you have to work, Shawty. Have a good night. Wait. I can I, I can tell her I'm sick. Let me call her. Don't cancel. You couldn't tell her you were sick for Ruby Tuesdays, though. I didn't think of it then. Sorry. I'm all good now. What time Friday? 7.61 p.m. <laughs> huh? You mean 7 p.m.? 7.61 doesn't exist. That reservation didn't either. Have a good night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I, lo I love these scenarios. <laughs> when there's two people playing games with one another. I love it. Because it's like y'all built for each other. They should go out. Really? They I should. think they should. They should. They should really go out. They, they if she wants to really be with somebody, it don't sound like she want to be with nobody. She's she just, to eat. yeah. She just want to eat things. Like but if she want to be with somebody, they might make a decent, halfway decent couple. Huh? I think that she does want to be with somebody. I think she wants to be with somebody who's okay with taking her to Sweet Pea. Peach. Sweet peach, Sweet whatever, peach, whatever. I know. Called. I don't know where that is. Oh yeah, I can see that. I think Clearly. women really get <clears throat> attached to the idea of the man that they want, instead of focusing on being with the man that he is now, or just being with whoever likes you. Or you no, know, I don't think you should settle for that. Not settle, but I'm saying <laughs> realistically, um, no one's perfect. So let's say you have this long criteria. He has to be this, 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 that. Let's just say he he checks eight out of your ten boxes. You're saying you're not going to be with him because he's not ten out of ten. Like no one's perfect, and I'm saying yeah, like and there's only one box in that situation that he didn't check. So there's nine others that he could possibly be great for her. Possibly, but she couldn't cancel based on that one. No, yes, yeah, she wouldn't even want to. She didn't even want to give it the time of day to see if there was anything else. Basically, that's her front door. If you don't meet this, meet like, that, then you're if not you getting past it. Paying sixty dollar appetizers. Hold on, let's, we talk don't need to be let's talk about something at the beginning of the conversation. Who texted who and said somebody told me to text you? She did. She texted him and was like, "Somebody named Sasha. Sasha." Sasha told me to text you. What's up? Mm -hmm. Like that, so Sasha oh, so. put the word out there that he be tricking. No, what happened oh, was he asked Sasha okay. oh. about her friend. Oh, okay. And oh. so she gave Sasha, she gave the friend. Sasha gave her his his number. number. Okay. Or maybe they That's had possible. somehow. Hey, look, I'm gonna give her your number. <clears throat> you know. That's possible. Whatever. Okay. I don't feel comfortable giving you hers. Let me ask her yeah. how she felt about you. you. I give her and yours. Then, that's that's exactly oh, how that okay. went. Okay, I can see that too. That's okay. possible. Right. So she hit him up. So he already got to be on. So okay, she had to be interested in something. Right. But you want me to take you to the most but, expensive restaurant <clears> when it when it you know what I'm saying when it comes mean, to so that's, that's his fault. Guy she so wants. also let me also tell you that's his fault. Okay. Why? He should have taken more time to vet that situation out. That conversation went from, hey, when you're free, that's it. It was no, there was no uh, getting to know the person. There was no questions oh. about. Oh, so you feel like he wanted to do that on a date. Maybe, but, <laughs> there, but, but, there's no, but there's plenty of that to go around. Like a conversation that I have with you for 15, 20 minutes before I ask you where you want to go can still be continued or had if we go on a date. I, I don't know how it's I'm done just, now. How do I, I don't know. I'm you just letting you know. Enlighten me, brother. I don't know. Well, you know I can speak. So. <laughs> right. There's plenty of talking to go around. <laughs> what do they do now? I, I, I don't do know. You, do, I, you, do you try to get those types of details beforehand? Let me, let me tell you. What they do now is probably completely <laughs> different. They probably don't. Who knows? But the problem is... Tap phones. That's... You know, the that's problem is... Work. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get it. I'm right, right. Have right. a nice life. The problem is, <laughs> that's what they do now. Oh, they God. start from here because that's what they see. Or that's what has been projected as... Maybe she knows what she wants out of life. No, she doesn't. <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> And that's the problem. She don't know what she want out of life. How you know? I can tell. She want a man that can get her $60 appetizers with no problem. Yeah. Who don't? 
What is the sixty dollar appetizer do? Like what it got on it? That won't make her happy, but that's fine. That's I guess a it lot. will I guess it will for dinner. I'm trying to figure out what the appetizer is, you know. That drink better be good. It's probably it seafood. better be good. Seafood should be cheap. But like here's smart. Well, what she should uncrooked. What she should have done was taken advantage of or acknowledged the fact that he did his research before he responded to her. See, that tells you what type of man he really is. He said, "Take me here." He googled it. Oh, okay. Let me like that. See, tell, he considered money. it. He was like, "Let me see." Ah, I can't afford but that. That tells. She was you. like, "Ah." I can't afford to be with you. Oh, okay, cool. I man. can't afford to date you. And I think that's okay. And I think that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, I was looking for a, I, I was looking when, for a simp nigga. She, you ain't she, one. She, she, she right. flip flop based on his, you know. She's a... That, she played herself. I'd have took her out. I'd have took her out, made sure I took a glove with me. I slapped her in the face. <laughs> you can't do silence, sir. You can't be here. Left, I would have I would, I would, I would left, and I would, that would have been it. That's it. Meet me here. <laughs> Why do you have that glove on? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Allow me a second. <laughs> it's interesting that you ask. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay close attention. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> That's what you deserve. <laughs> See? Good day, ma'am. <laughs> the double slap. I said, good day, ma'am. <laughs> awful. <laughs> Why are we on dating? Okay, one last topic. It's the last one. Did yeah. y'all hear what B. Simone said? I don't even know what that is. First of all, you got to educate me. <sighs> Please, I'm sorry. I, I guess you could that. consider her a comedian. She's a talent. She's supposed to be a comedian. Oh, Simone? Simone? Not. I'm thinking that. You know who I'm thinking about. No, not her. Okay. This is a new new age. Uh, yeah. yeah, she a young. She's more of a, uh, what do you call that? A, uh, Influencer? Tiffany uh, Haddish type? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. She like, like an old. Instagram. What do you call it? I don't want to say Instagram sensation, hmm. but. Influencer. You know. I mean, yeah, she's an influencer, but yeah. I'm saying like. That happens to do co- comedy. What's her. You wouldn't just be like, oh, Kev on stage is an influencer. He's a comedian. No, he's an actual comedian, though. But I'm saying like, um, what's my man? Um, she has like a. She's a YouTuber. She's very pop. She's just Where does she get her fame from? Help me. YouTube, I think. She's a. She's a. She's, she, she wants to be called a comedian. So that means she she's an influencer. But, but that. that's but not her entryway into so the game. Means, but that means she's I mean, an influencer. I guess it is comedy. She's an influencer. It's, it's that's a, how Jake Paul's a boxer now. What do you call them joints? So Jake, sketches? She came in with sketches. Okay. On, so she was on social funny. media. She was always funny. Yeah. And so, more recently, she was on uh, the, the Ghetto Boys Got a Show. Willie D and Star. Oh, is that true? I didn't got know a, about they that. Got a little show. That's oh, right, cool. And so. She basically said that she won't date men with nine to five jobs because they're typically broke mentally and aren't living their passion. They would like to have more out of life, but they aren't taking the necessary steps to get them broke. All, all men, are, anybody who works a nine to five, because some Let people me, are on. content with that. Like I, <laughs> all of them. Y'all gonna be surprised by it. <laughs> Oh, I just was, I just want to ask her like all oh, like you know what I'm saying like some people work nine and bankers work nine to fives and hedge fund managers they work nine to fives like and they're content with their that's not what she want out of life okay I mean that's fair that's what she want I get okay let me see if I can find an actual clip the, okay here we go strong opinions. I do yeah, like, like what give me examples for example like when you, when you <laughs> a while back you had mentioned that um you know, on the Nick Cannon morning show that you don't date nine to five men. Yep. You got a lot of flack. I did, I did. Do you still feel the same way? Absolutely. There's um, only a nine to five man. Though. Well, I say this in my stand-up and I explain, because most of the people that support me actually, you know, they, they're hard-working citizens. They nine have nine to yeah. fives, yes. <laughs> and um, I do this at the end of my stand-up set. I say clap if you have a nine to five, right? Because I had a nine to five less than two years ago. Well, about two years ago. I was waiting tables. I was working. Clap if you have a nine to five. Whole room claps. Right. Clap if you would love to be at that job for the next 30 to 50 years. No one claps. Right. That's my point. I can't date a man that's not following his dreams, following his heart. Um, it's happy. At, you sitting at a desk, you mad at me because I'm out on tour living my life. And you stuck, not following your purpose. Most people that have 9 to 5s aren't. I'm not saying that a 9 to 5 is bad. But if you are not driven, you're not following your heart, you're not living your dreams, you got million dollar ideas in your mind, and you too scared to do it. I can't date no man like that. 
I'm not saying everybody needs to be an entrepreneur, but what I am saying is a lot of men that I have dated that are in that workspace it's not even what they want to do. I want to date a man that is living in his purpose and doing what he wants to do right. and can live my lifestyle. I travel a lot. I do this. I do that. I'm always on. I need you with Your me. Your voice inflections like, don't, I don't matter to me. That shit don't, like, like that shit don't, I, it doesn't make it right when you talk like this. Like, <laughs> bitch, you know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, oh, she's like, um, she's a comedian. Baby, I would man. like to see. Uh, that's I would, about child. I, I would like to see. <laughs> And she about to is get sun. Is she funny in stand up? She about to get sun. So what they got to do with what, what, what she said? So everything she, she said contradicted up? herself. Oh, I was just wondering. That was oh, just a side oh. question. Everything she said contradicted herself. She literally just said she was working waiting tables two years ago. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, if the man that she meets is doing that, and he's two years away from his dream, then, then what? You're not talking to him? No, nah, not right now. She's oh, not. Okay. She can't do that right now. And that's okay. Maybe if she met him and two years she's ago. And okay with that. Yeah. But also, let me tell you something about <laughs> women. Tell me about that. I'm going to tell you something about tell women. Tell them. Women say shit that they don't know what the fuck they talking about all the goddamn time. Women say shit that they don't mean. They feel like they mean in the moment. And until they come across a nigga to change their mind, they mind changed. Oof. I don't know how many women I done ran across that said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, will, I will go down in this boat with you. Oh, I know. You, you, Maybe oh, I know. Women say shit that they feel in the moment, don't really understand the ramifications of it all. Oh, I don't date dark skinned men. Oh, okay, cool. Women and weak niggas do too. Women and weak niggas. Oh, I don't date women with children. Oh, okay, cool. Give me a number. Oh, I don't date women with all all the time. All of the time it happens. Okay. I don't date men who work nine to fives. I don't work date men who it happens all the time. I don't think they know any better. I know they don't. Women are supposed to be <laughs> led. Well, don't. what happens so is... So this is the issue with alpha see. women. There's some this, women this that is know the women alpha, This is the issue with alpha women. Mm. And it's okay being an alpha woman, but you are still a woman, so you're not the ultimate alpha. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're going okay, down Okay, so another. she's 31. I understand what you're saying. She's 31 right now. Okay. When she hit women like 35... That, Let's just see. Let's talk about Let's it. Let's talk about Let it. Let me then. tell you something, Tiff. Women like that want to be checked. Man, they know. They she want one of them joints that uh, this is gonna sound horrible, but it's a great thing that she is, you know, living her dream, I guess, and pursuing her thing. But the problem is that I guess it's not a problem because this is how she wanna live her life. What I see as the problem for me is that she's letting that cloud her vision of possibilities it's, it's she's just blocking off everything in the realm of possibilities but that's what alpha women do i don't know what she i don't know i don't because, know what it alpha, is but because that thought process or that mindset that's just what ignorant people do oh okay yeah that's actually true there's a level of ignorance to it you know what i'm saying black or white right has to be right exactly right. exactly there's no you know Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They they deal in absolutes, mm-hmm. and that's that's the most ignorant thing you can do. It is, I agree. Um, and if you have things that are like dead set standard, like you can't live without, okay, fine. But I'm not mad at her though. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at her because mad. she essentially she's saying where I am right now, this is what I'm looking for. But I don't believe her. I mean, that may not be the case, but I'm just saying I don't I don't really see a big. That's the only problem I see with that. I hope she's not dealing with. Her life in totality dealing in absolutes. I hope it's just more so, hey, look, the type of guy that I'm looking for where in the space that I'm in right now is this. If it ain't this, I don't have time for that right now. I don't think she's a bad person. I just think she don't know no better. And she probably just, <laughs> no, I'm just keeping it real. She probably just needs a man to show her one way or another. That's it. The men that she, or the experiences that she has, she can't understand how a man working in nine to five can give her what she wants. If one were to be able to do that, she would change her mind. Possibly, or she would stand corrected, Possibly. in whichever in whichever way that is. But but if it goes the other way, she could be like, "Yes, yeah, see, I, told I do you all so. alone." Yeah, you know? <laughs> no, but that's the problem with women. They be missing their blessings on bullshit like that. It's not, not just women. It's not just women. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy for us to say that because we're men. It's not just. But it's easy for them to say, "Oh, that's what's wrong with men," because they do. It's this, not. This, you know what I'm saying? You absolutely it's right. It's wrong with not. Men. Men are great. It's not just women. You're absolutely right. Yeah, we're going to close on that. Men are great. <laughs> I like that too. I like that too. Hopefully.
hopefully we had Doja Kira back. Yeah. Next week, week after next. Yep. I wish yeah. I wish Doja was here for a couple of these topics. This yeah. would have been good if he was here, but that's all right. That's okay. We be here for the next go round. We out. We out.